Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Polaroid Cube. Polaroid doesn't really exist. Other companies uh, license their logos and their name. It was introduced in September of 2014 in the U.S. Measured 35 millimeter on a side, uh, 1.4 inches. Has this magnet mount. It also came with the strap mount, which is kind of neat has this little hole in the bottom, which of course is going to become a tripod mount. It also came with a crazy amount of strap. I don't know if they expect you to strap it to a buffalo or something. A lot of people have covered it pretty well uh, on YouTube and elsewhere, so I'm going to focus on it as a still camera. It has a CMOS sensor. Video-wise, it does 1080p or 720p, both at 30 frames per second and it does six megapixel stills. They're probably interpolated up from the 1080p resolution. Wouldn't want to do giant prints from them or anything, but they're pretty cool. It uses uh, micro SD cards. Everything is behind this one little door on the back, up to 32 gig. Um, they say to use uh, class 10 or above picked up a uh, Chibo Class 4. So far it's working all right. Uses this uh, micro uh, USB port. It's USB 2.0. Um, they say it's water resistant to six feet, but then they also tell you to buy the waterproof case. So I wouldn't submerge it, but maybe it just won't die if it gets rained on or something like that. You get 90 minutes from the built-in lithium battery. A nice thing, because it doesn't have a removable battery, it will run powered by USB. It's a really, really wide-angle lens. You get a lot of distortion at the sides. The documentation says that it's f2.0 at widest. Looking at the EXIF information, um, the only f-stop I've gotten is 2.4. It comes with a couple of programs, one for Windows, one for the Mac. You can select 50 or 60 hertz. You can also uh, tell it whether to do a date and time stamp. Uh, you can tell it to loop. They call it cycle, where when the memory card's full, it'll just overwrite the oldest file and keep going. And you can also set the beep volume on it. Uh, later versions of the firmware, I did upgrade this. Um, Instead of chopping your video into five minute sections, even though it'll keep recording until the battery dies, you can now set that for up to 15 minutes. You can set the bit rate. Uh, the default is eight megabits per second. You can crank that up to 13. For that, I probably will have to splurge and get a faster memory card. Uh, self timer, I haven't played with that yet. It's settable from zero to 60 seconds and then a battery level setting. From tests that I did, the lowest ISO I've gotten is 100, the highest I've gotten is 1600, and the shutter, the longest it'll stay open is a 30th of a second, and I've gotten 1 215th of a second. Mostly in the shots I've taken, it's been multiples of a 30th of a second. Um, to use it, it's pretty simple. You just push this button and hold it for about three seconds. This light will come on, tells you it's ready to go. Press it once to take a still, do a double click, and then you can see now it's got a standard kind of recording light. Double click it again to stop it. Um, I've been having a ball with it. Uh, the super wide angle is pretty fun, so I'll uh, Put some stills at the end of this video, and then I'll uh, post uh, a bunch more on the blog. So I'll see you then.